the Jumpman's back again with a little small video. Look at that. What am I going to do today? Well, first off, before we get to Star Wars, as always, support this channel. Head over to Patreon.com. we got some new things coming over to Patreon that I think you'll be excited about for next year. Or go to StarWarsJunk.net and buy some cool t-shirts like this one right here, the KB Toy Store. Anybody remember KB? You better. Well, what are we going to do today? I'm going to watch all the Star Wars Kenner toy commercials from 1978 to 1979. Um... And kind of give my thoughts and commentary as I go along. It's a pretty long video, so let's get uh, right to it. Star Wars large action Darth Vader. Look at him. Only he could be that bold. Um, Princess Leia. Man, never got the hair back like that. Uh, Luke Skywalker. I had Luke Skywalker. I had Luke and Han with the only large size action figures. Man, them 70s kids. Look at them. Spockles. I didn't like the Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers horrible. I mean, it looked good from a distance, but it was all like one big bulky. The head didn't turn anything. What's this one here? The R2, RC, uh, the RC R2. That's a good one. Now, I never had this as a kid. I had a friend, uh, Mike, down the street, across the street that had it. And it didn't last long. It's like it broke uh, within the first couple of months. Uh, the dog doesn't seem to like it. Is that Ricky Schroeder? Uh, Mm. Kind of a gimmick thing. Oh, there we go. The escape pod from the Jawa. I did a review on this playset just a couple of, couple of weeks ago. Look at that. We got a Jawa right there. Not so with 3PO. Man, I wish that Jawa had a plastic cape in the video. That'd be cool. My elevator doesn't go up that smoothly at all. They really make this look a lot more fun than it is. That's where they could do this whole commercial and make it look more exciting. But, I mean, what, for a kid, it wasn't a bad place to play with. What is it? Oh, my dream piece. This is one of those dream pieces I would love to have. I almost bought one one time, but it was missing the door. I don't even care if it works, honestly. I just want to buy it. But it's, it's worth a lot of money. It's hard to find. Uh, Hasbro did a reissue of it using the same mold, a little different. Uh, back in, what, late 90s, early 2000s? Should have just got it, I guess. Um, I like it. it goes frontwards and backwards. Yeah, that's my dream piece. <laughs> now, this one I definitely had as a kid. I love Land Speeder. I think every kid I know that has Star Wars toys had a Land Speeder. Um, that's funny. See, they always put Luke on the left side. I guess that's true, but I always put him on the right side like a real car. Like, we drive in the U.S. anyway. Oh, the spring. It looked really good. Uh, it really had a little really floating look to it, which I really enjoyed. I, that was really fun to play with. I think we, my brother and I both had one smashed up a lot. Now we're into Wave 2, uh, Luke X-Wing Pilot. And there's a Jawa from the original 12. R5-B4 and Power Droid. There's Greedo. So this is advertising the new stuff here coming out of Wave 2. I love how the, uh, they run away. Watch this. Whoa, let's get out of here. That's, man, I wish these was really good. I wish they had better quality, but what can you expect? I wish uh, Hasbro or Kenner, or Hasbro now would re-release these. And, hmm. The Cantina playset, one of my favorite playsets. As a kid with a Joey Lawrence haircut. I don't know why Han always had his hand like this. Like he's, hmm. Maybe he's secret a Nazi or something. That would have been perfect to come with a bartender. I don't know why that. They should at least have that come with a figure. But they didn't really do much of that coming with figure stuff. Exclusive, anyway. A do-back. I have, I have a do-back, but he's missing his uh, saddle. I need to get another do-back. It's one that people kind of forget about. One of the uh, creatures, like the uh, Wampa or the Tauntaun. That is Ricky Schroeder, wasn't it? I think that was that. There was Ricky Schroeder. That damn, you know that kid that was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. <sighs> There's the dude back. He twists his tail and his head would move. Pretty good. Oh, I need to get another one. I had one of these as a kid. I had one as a collector, and I had to sell it a couple years ago. Need to get another one. Uh, the Millennium Falcon. That looks a lot wider than most Millennium Falcons I see. And what a great, I mean, this ship and playset in one, so that's always a plus. You had the little hidden compartment in the back, the training ball, the cannon where they sat upside down. 
It made the sounds, had the radar. It was awesome. That was a piece to have. Oh, the best, death, the best, this is the best Death Star, the best play set ever. You got Darth Vader shooting the gun. What's up with that? But, oh, the Death Star. I love the Death Star. I mean, look at it. The light bridge right there. I don't know why they didn't have Ben fighting him, but he jumped to escape into the, into the trash monster. He did come with a trash monster. That was good. Man, I love the Death Star. That's a really good play set right there. Really, uh, that was so much fun. Oh, I didn't know those would get into these. This is a little bit more, I think this is more of 1980. This is the Micro Machine collection, the Death Star world. Look at this. This is, the line didn't do really do well. I can understand kids were already buying the action figures. So, you know, they wasn't really that much fun to play with. But, man, they looked, I mean, I had fun playing with them. But you can kind of see where we were just so much Star Wars stuff on the shelf as it is. But it looks really good on display. I'm starting to get into some of those now. Okay, we've got, ooh, Darth Vader has a lightsaber. Okay, this is a early 77 one, or 78 one. Uh, series 12 release still. It looks like none of the uh, newer figures, or way two figures, I should say. There's Light, uh, Luke Skywalker. Darth Vader, R2, 3PO, nothing really uh, special there. Some nice little groovy kids. What's this? That's always funny when they're playing outside. Watch a TIE Fighter? Is that what this is? Oh, another Falcon commercial. They all made that same sound. Sound like you was getting your teeth drilled on. This is another Falcon commercial, I guess. Uh, man, I gotta get a Falcon. Look at that. Love a Falcon. Um, I mean, they just did perfect with the Falcon, I think. Making it a ship and play set all in one like that. Better than what Hasbro did, putting a big Nerf gun on it. Come on, Hasbro. Uh, we're back to, now this is actually Empire here. So the label, the video I'm watching says it's from 1978, but no, this is definitely 80s here. Uh, Micro Machine Collection, because this isn't the die cast. You've got these where they fall apart, where you hit a button, you hit a button and the uh, X-Wing falls apart and top out. They were kind of fun to have, but again, you are already buying, your parents and everybody was already buying your store with action figures. It's hard to get them to commit also to this line, but it looks really good. I really like those. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Another one that I had and I had to sell. And there's Luke's X-Wing, which I still have back over there on display. I love that. I actually like this X-Wing better before they redid that battle damage kind of gray look. There's that. I remember playing that in the kid just like that. But there's that drill style. Okay. Darth Vader was kind of always hard to sit in because he had that cape. Just better take it off. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter again. Look at Dad. Dad's trying to read the newspaper and his son's... His dad thinks he's broke it. He's probably like, I just paid $10 for this. Oh. A coupon book from Kenner. It's kind of like those little booklets that came with the action. It looks like the same thing. A little booklet, a little catalog that came with, like, if you bought a playset or a ship. I always love looking at those, looking through those. I need to do a video where I just go through those. Uh, seeing what was coming out. What we got here? X-Wing Fighter. And TIE Fighter. Again, the originals before they went back and did the battle damage or the kind of bluer TIE Fighter. Look at that 70s house. I could never get R2 to push to, I, R2 you push down, mine would always collapse back down. You had to push it 10 times to get it to stand up. Um, I guess this is before they had a Luke Pilot to put in it. Man, these toys bring back some memories. Here we go, the 12-inch. See, the uh, Stormtrooper, I don't like as much. He's like one big hunk of plastic. 3B will look good. I thought an R2. 3B and R2 are really looking good. Now, of course, uh, Boba Fett's the best one, but these kids not even really make them look that much fun. R2 came with the uh, Death Star plans. That's good. But kids were just getting out of this large-size action figure. I mean, that was the standard before Star Wars, and they kind of killed it with that. Stormtrooper looks good from far away. What is this? This is another one I love to have again. Because uh, I need this R2 with the three legs. I don't know if you count him as an official figure. Uh, I don't really count him as a figure, but I guess he is. But I love it. You can make all kinds of droids. I never really used the blueprint. I usually just make my own droids. Make them up. But they re released the same playset without the pieces. Uh, in Return of the Jedi, as Jabba's Dungeon. Kind of 
like they did with the uh, land of the jaw was just use the same mold. I would love to get that one. That one's hard to find with all in little pieces for sure. The troop transporter. This is the talking one. Let me see. Yeah, this is it. This is troop transporter. Actually, it's almost like a little record on the inside. And um, my, I have one, but I can't get it to work anymore. Most of them broke. It's hard to find one in a working edition. 1980, they re-released this in the Empire line only through Sears, and it didn't talk anymore. Uh, me and my son actually redid this commercial. It's on my YouTube channel. Let's try to get him to do another one of those. What is this one? R2 shows that it's his turn. This is the early bird uh, commercial, Star Wars early bird set. So this was uh, late 1977. Letting you know to get this for Christmas. I promise to get. There you go. Fill out that. I would have let my parents fill it out. Well, still today, nobody will ever read my handwriting. That's the Star Wars Early Bird collection. And I bet I didn't look real close. I bet that's the Early Bird Luke. What is this one? 20. So this is 1979. There he is. The new bow effect. Look at him. It comes with an arm that lifts up and down. Not available in stores yet. Oh, don't cut that card. Who would have thought, right? Look at those clear, nice cards right there. Look at Boba hopping across them. Man. But people, a lot, a lot of people don't under, understand Boba Fett. Why he's so, I don't think if you grew up in this time, you can really appreciate Boba Fett. You might can, but not as much. There's the, I never had this action face. I had a bootleg uh, carrying case. Um, it's called Star World. A lot of people had it for a bootleg one, too. There's a Tusken Raider. Man, that would have been nice to have. Um, after Empire, I just had a pony shoe. Pony shoes, remember those shoes? I had a shoe box. I used to put them on. Oh, the lightsaber. Okay, I didn't know it was going to get away from them. These are horrible. They would, they would pop. They would bend when you get a lightsaber. I don't know why they, I mean, you think they could have came up with plastic in 1978 or 77. I guess you just hit balloons with it, but it even came with a repair kit so you could, and they knew you were gonna pop it. I don't know why you give a kid a balloon and wanting that like a sword, not thinking it's gonna pop and bend. It, it was horrible. It's the Star Wars X-Wing Aces target game. Now, <laughs> the target game. Now this was originally a, just an Ace Wings or Ace something. Um, then they just redid it and put Star Wars on. I've never played this one. It'd be interesting to play. I wonder. I bet it's corny. I bet it's weird now playing it. Um, these kids are making it look a lot more fun than I'm sure it is. I think I, think I had that shirt. That big 70 on there? Hmm. Yeah, that's an old one there. I like this commercial. This is a good commercial. This is the Star Wars electronic game. Uh, it's kind of like an electronic battleship, I think. I never play. I never play many of these games. Batteries are not included. See, his dad turns into a Darth, Darth Vader. His dad turns into a stormtrooper like that. Look at his dad in his robe and his star. That's pretty good. Uh, looks like Hello Greedo got huh? I never understand why it's Hello Greedo. Or Greedo, where a stormtrooper man. Here's another one. I never play. I never played these guys. I had some of the board games, but I never had these electronic games. I'm um, not sure how the fun they are. This one doesn't even look too fun. I think you got to shoot the Death Star for the other guy. I don't know, but Dad's getting really upset, it looks like. Mm. Yeah, I'm not... Dad is very upset that he lost, lost the game right there. Part ended up breaking the sheen after he was done. Losing. Ah, oh, the Star Wars board Escape from the Death Star. Now, this one I did have. Yeah, now it's. I played it again recently, probably a couple years ago. I, I still have it. Me and my son played it. It's boring. It is not too fun. Uh, it's kind of. It's kind of neat to have. Yeah, a little. You gotta think that little spinner never spins good. It's not. I have an aliens board game too, or alien board game too. It's not really fun. Oh, the van. I would like to get this again too. I had this as a kid. This is another one of those pieces I like to get. I had the black one, I think. No, I think I had the white one. My brother had the black one, like y'all really care. Well, they shot sparks out the bottom. You let them race each other. Vans were big in the 70s. I would love to have a real van like that with that Darth Vader paint on the side of it. I mean, I remember someone locally would have a van like that with Star Wars paint all over the side. He would show up at like car dealerships. It was awesome. 
And that's it. I didn't know it was the last one. That, that's the last one. That's a look at Star Wars Kenner toys. I'll put a link in the description below because you want to watch these videos while my big ugly face in them. But just wanted to share that with you, kind of give my thoughts on it. Not really sure how the video is, but if you like it, maybe we'll do the Empire toys also. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be back very soon. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.